Sometimes it's good to have unmitigated positive numbers. We can see what the stock market looks like when it's like the old days. And we've got ServiceNow right now who crushed it last night. Just crushed it on every single element. And we have Bill McDermott in person, which is a delight. He's the chairman and CEO. And Bill, I'm going to take right from the comments because I sure. think it was the most important line of the call. AI, it isn't a hype cycle. It is a generational movement. And it is giving you multiple 10 million dollar contracts why is it well jim a couple things about service that a lot of people don't know this right now is a company operating at the rule of 55. so when you take the revenue growth and the free cash flow margin operating at the rule of 55 and it's the first company of all time in enterprise software to be on the doorstep of 10 billion in revenue at this point in our history fastest growing ever so what's happened is digital transformation has really turned into business transformation. How do companies deflect the pressure from their people using digital technology? How do companies avoid having employees swivel chair between 13 applications on average a day, burning up 33% of their productivity? And now how do companies take generative AI to completely rethink the game in terms of their business processes and that they're doing all on one platform with ServiceNow with one user experience that is consumer grade. So, Jim, you'll love this. We went live on a pricing skew for generative AI on September 30th, which means we had one day to sell it right. in the quarter. We had multiple deals of multiple millions but of dollars. That was because of Vancouver and because you offer, you finally have done what I really wanted, which offered the, the finest security proposal. Therefore, federal contracts love that. Exactly. And the Air Force being one I want you to talk about. The United States Air Force is the third largest deal we've ever done at ServiceNow. It was a phenomenal example of using one platform with one user experience to completely reinvent the way in which the U.S. Air Force goes about their business. But, you know, Jim, you're a big fan of NVIDIA, and I do want to give well, NVIDIA— you, you give major props, to, you, and you went Jensen. You used the first name, kind of like Yoda. Jensen is a great friend of mine and service now. But, you know, it's super cool, Jim. We're building large language models from the GPU up through the NVIDIA stack to fine-tune large language models on the ServiceNow platform at mass scale. And NVIDIA is also a customer of ServiceNow's that's adopted our platform as the new standard for this generation. So we're pretty proud of great companies like FedEx, NVIDIA, the United States Air Force, and so many more that understand that business transformation management is what every great CEO needs to be doing, and they're doing it. What is that? Can you explain to people what you just said, what that actually means, Bill? I you know, in terms of building the stack for generative yes. AI, because you're not thought of, I mean, in terms of spending, you know, you're not spending the money that, that Meta or Alphabet or Microsoft right. are in terms of lar large language models, which or require Google. enormous amounts of computing. I said yes. Alphabet. No, uh, I know. <laughs> uh, 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 computing power. So what, what are you doing? Right on. We are doing domain-specific generative AI built into the ServiceNow platform. So what's different about us is we require far less compute power than those large companies you just mentioned to execute for customers across of our platform. And every single thing in our platform is now energized by generative AI. And that includes how do you manage your assets, how do you run your operations, how do you run risk, security, governance, compliance. How do you give your employees a great experience? FedEx, 500,000 employees going on one employee portal to give them a great experience. Customer experience. How do customers self-serve? Why should they wait for a call center agent? Why can't they do it themselves in a digital engagement where the front office, mid office, and back office talk to each other? Hey, Jim, I got another one for you. David, you're going to love this. We're going to run out of time, Bill. Got one for you. Engineers. Engineers now, text-to-code, text-to-app development, completely reinvent engineering processes. In New York, the banks you have here, they have thousands of engineers. We're going to transform the way engineers go about their business each and every day. Viewers may not remember, you moved the whole software market earlier in the year with your comments about macro and elongated sales cycles. Yeah. Um, is there any echo of that? Are you seeing any echo of that right now? What I said in the second quarter of 2022, which is exactly what you're referring to, Carl, when the Ukrainian war broke out, I said 
that there will be challenges at the global macro level, and that was correct. And I was the first one to claim that, right. and the market reacted. That. And that was on your show, Jim. And the market reacted. And then the truth teller, as it may be, reinvented the way we create value for our customers, truncated the sales cycles, and made sure that value creation, return on invested capital, taking cost out, improving productivity, became the calling card of service now. And that's why we've run with this market as the fastest growing one in the enterprise but to, But industry. to Carl's point, Bill, you have a read on spend overall. Yes. Uh, and we've gotten some mixed reports lately from some of the big tech companies. What are you seeing on the ground? The CEOs are very concerned about the macro. There's no question you got a couple of wars out now. You got high inflation, high interest rates, and the hangover from COVID. So they need to digitally transform their companies, take cost out, improve productivity. And frankly, they need to buy into generative AI because if they don't and their competitors do, their business models will but, be but, superseded but, 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 by someone they're else. They're all talking about optimizing spend except for your customers. Now, how does that happen? Our customers wouldn't spend if they didn't get a great return on their investment. They'll spend a dollar if they can get 10 in return. With the ServiceNow super platform for digital transformation, you get an ROI that's uncommonly good. Well, I've got to tell you, you're a godsend on a day like today. You, maybe you can turn it like you turn it down when you're on Mad Money, maybe you turn it up. Jim, now. Jim, you have to want it more. We want it more. Well, I still, what's the rule of 55? Oh, come on. That's that is revenue growth plus free cash flow margin. And, David, they say you're a great company if you're operating at the rule of 40. Right. There is only one company oh, in the I, software I, industry, I, service now. But I know the name of that he company. He Salesforce to $10 billion. Tells you Thank you. Faster than Generative AI English. says now. All right. Now. They're, they're giving me the hook. All right. I want to thank you for coming on.